once again we're back with the greatness that is dragon quest so without further ado let's go ahead and jump in we got that title baron's last will now obviously that has to be a callback to uh what was his name the dragon rider leon hart something like that lon hart uh and here we go we got confirmation I, I, we got confirmation our boy's alive okay i'm sorry but uh him was making it seem like he was dead okay he was talking about his soul resting and all that i'm like bro you, you can't be talking with those words look at look at him's whole attitude change so is he actually gonna go back maybe he'll he'll help with uh mr Vern, right because <laughs> after what happened last episode they need help hey even him could join the action you know what i mean <laughs> bro his face his reaction you hire will never fully recover that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense baron that's the number one i think and then all his bones are broken yeah he he's done for but you'll never fight again that's what baron and crocodile were talking about earlier oh he's talking about him so i'm guessing him is gonna like inherit his will in a way Kind of like how uh, that other human was going to become an armorer, you know what I mean? Be the hands of Lon Burke. Uh, kind of carry his will, you know what I mean? Wants to see it. See, that's the thing, though. I feel like either King Varn is going to do something messed up with that, right? Like, he's going to see her Junko be weak over there. And if Dai gets the upper hand, he's going to, you know, he's going to jump in. He's going to go in and, and, and try to use uh, her Junko against Dai. You can use my shoulder. Yo, they're, they're BFFs, okay? They're BFFs. Damn, Crocodile. Damn, bro. You, you, you've taken so many L's and now, now you're losing your friend to him. Damn, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. He's not actually going to join, right? He's not actually going to join the commandos. He's talking about La yeah, Lonhard, right? Yep, he made it. He made it. And I don't know how I feel about this because... I wanted, and I'm, I'm guessing they are going to do something, right? I'm guessing he's not going to take care of Mr. Vern by himself. Like, I want one of the main cast to be the one to handle Mr. Vern. I don't want the spotlight to go to this dude. I'm sorry, okay? I, I, I'm going I'm to I'm ride Pop, Marm, Leona, and die, okay? And even here, Yonko. This is what I'm talking about, see? This is what I'm talking about. He's all oh, before, before, you know, falling. That makes you seem like he died. He's scaring everybody over here. You know what I mean? Like, if we would have gotten this scene before seeing her Junko get up and be cool, I would have been like, are you serious? He's dead. Yo, he's bowing down before the greatness. The successor of the Dragon Knight. Master Dino. I, I, I like the name Dino, okay? It's, it, it has a little touch to it. I know I wasn't feeling it back in the old days when, you know, Baran kept calling him Dino. Uh, but it's growing on me though. Damn. Damn, yo, he's really all about that, huh? Is that Mr. Vern? He ain't playing, is he? He's pissed off. He is pissed off. Damn. Yeah, I'm kinda hyped up. I'm 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 trying to see how this fight is gonna go. So they were under Baran and they follow Baran orders, but they never like they never fought for the Dark Army, right? Like they didn't follow the Dark Army's order okay that, that, that kind of makes sense when you know it's a little it's a little confusing but it makes sense bro stop it stop it stop it i know he ain't about to take mr Vern with just hands and i refuse to believe it bro he's a little cocky not gonna lie he's a little cocky you see like he just died fast my boy my man larnhard i'm all about that life okay you said the same thing about his uncle when when he slapped you okay like we get it, you're fast, and you. But he, you said the exact same thing about her Junko. You're like, you know, you can't beat me. You can't even hit me. And then he hit you, okay? And then he hit you. On the level of really now, really now. I just, I mean, I guess he he must have gotten a power up when he awakened, right? And maybe he did some training in the in the in you know off screen. But come on now, because I refuse to believe that he has the same strength as before when we know Hirjonko has improved quite a lot 
And I know for a fact your Jonko will struggle against Mistovern. That was right after the battle, right? Yeah. So it, it, it wasn't after the whole team up that they did with Baron, right? I guess he left him like a piece of paper, like a note. Yep. Dude, did they ever say how long it took him to wake up? Like, was it fast or did it some time go by? I would like that, um, bro, Baron. Yo, we, we know he was kind of, you know, he was kind of messed up at the beginning, but he went out like a king. Ooh, Baron, man, I love the dude. He, he, he definitely, you know, I, he had some issues, but. Oh, even Dai is calling him dad. They, they had a good moment at the end, man. They did. Yeah, he does. Him and Pop. Don't forget about Pop. And I'll even throw Marmon, Leona, and Herjonkel in there, okay? But I would definitely say it's Pop, Marm, and, and like the main group. To my other son. Damn. Damn. I acknowledged him as a son, too. Bro, I'm t this dude is loyal. He is loyal. He is loyal. He put he put loyalty on top of his hatred. Damn, I like that. I, I like him a lot. I have a little bit more respect for him now. He put his loyalty on t uh, over his hatred. He's he's believing in 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 die Dino. Ah, man, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, again, I, it's growing on me, but bro, it's die. It's die, okay? Please don't call me Dino anymore. Probably, probably the negative stuff, right? Like when he was mind controlling him and doing all that nasty stuff. Bro, did you all see that? Yo, he, he was grabbing Leona's hands. Okay, yo. Uh, my die. He's, he, he's got game. He's got game. We won't mess up again. My boy. Again, Larhard, come on, my man. Don't disrespect my boy, Pop, okay? I like you, but don't be talking that kind of crazy. Of fighting at full strength. Notice how he didn't say at the possibility that I might lose. So he's still very confident. And after what he did to my boy, Pop and Leona last episode, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Avon is still in there with Kilvern. Oh, that music, man, that heroic music. Let's go. Damn, that's a beautiful scenery right there, too. Man, is it's, it's everything about to happen here? Like, is it about to go down? Are we going to have, like, three different fights happen at the same time? Like, are we going to have, you know, those three against Mr. Vern, these two against King Varn, and then Avon and Kilvern over there? He's a menace, dude. He's a menace. He's, he's not even worried right now. He's not even worried in the slightest. Uh, is he in, ignoring Leona? Because I feel like Leona is going to be a big part of this fight. Let's be real now. Like She's probably going to be more like the support character. Maybe like in the background. Healing and, and stuff like that. She might even throw some hands. Who knows? She got them feathers. But uh, I don't think Leona is going to be there for no reason. Right? That doesn't make any sense at all. Ah, there we go. He's finally acknowledging her. Damn, bro. He's a menace, dude. Bro, he's talking about his mother, too. Damn, he's cold. Oh, and I also... See, I'm forgetting Gomechan, okay? I feel like Gomechan is also going to be something. He's going to be important. This Gomechan has been with us since the beginning. What's this? Tentacles? Oh... Oh, that's the knife she gave him back back in the day. He's good at it too. Huh? We got to give him credit. So it's better if she has it. So she can kind of like, you know, go in and maybe throw a couple, couple, you know, stabs in there. I don't think she's going to need protecting. I got a feeling she's going to pull through. I got a feeling she's got a couple tricks under her sleeve. Yeah. So he's asking to fight together. I like it. I like it. Oh, okay. Come on, die. Come on, you gotta hug, hug her back, man. Come on now, don't leave her hanging. She's a couple years older than him, right? Like one or two years. 
probably a little bit more mature. You know what I mean? I mean, damn, that is, she, <laughs> damn, he is short. I mean, she was making fun of it, of how short he was, right? When when they first met. Man, the callbacks, the callbacks to the very couple first episodes. Oh, that's right. Like I said, Gomeshan has been here since the beginning. That dude is going to be important, just like he was against the battle with Baran, okay? You cannot tell me that Gomeshan made it all the way up here for no reason. Maybe, maybe because Leona is right there. You know what I mean? They had a little, they have, you know, they have feelings for each other. Come on now. He's an actual hero now. King potential, if you ask me, you know what I mean? Bro, I swear. I don't like the tentacles, man. I don't like the tentacles. They tend to do some weird stuff sometimes. And I knew it. 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 Damn. Who's that, though? Like, I mean, come on now, die. Come on now, man. Come on. Like, who is that? Like, I thought there was nobody else protecting the castle anymore. And on it, he so even King Vaughn doesn't know about this. I never expected it to act on its own. What does that mean? What's going on here? I don't, I'm I'm completely lost. Uh okay. Come on now, I want to see what it is. Bro, look at Gomeshan charging in there. Look at that! Oh, bro, he's, he's gonna one shot it. He's gonna one shot it. So it's a big. Huge monster. Don't tell me it's like a pervert. Cause that eye looks kind of like a pervert. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've been watching anime for too long. I, I know a thing or two. Okay. Episode. How, how man? How far are we into this? We're 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 going pretty fast. You know what I mean? We're not gonna watch the preview, of course. Episode eighty three uh, of Pure Greatness. Okay. This episode again. It wasn't focused on the action, right? We see, uh, you know, all the characters kind of talking to each other. This kind of like their their last like hoorah, right? They're kind of saying what's in their chest before they move on to the big fight. So I feel like after this episode, it's gonna be uphill. It's gonna be the final battle. It's about to go down. We got Mr. Vern versus uh, Marm Pop and uh, Lauren Hall. It's a three v one. I did not see that one coming. Uh, I mean, hey, I don't mind it, but I kind of wanted to see my boy Pop shine in a one v one scenario. Kind of, you know, kind of get that one fight by himself. You know what I mean? Uh, but I'm sure the three of them are gonna do great. They're gonna kill it, especially Pop. I'm sure Pop is not done having great moments. I feel like his speak was definitely with Moran, followed with the stuff that he did with Hadlar. But hey, there's still stuff left to see, and he's Pop never disappoints. Okay, so I'm not even worried about that side. Of of the fight okay then of course we have avon and kilvern uh i'm guessing they're not gonna really show too much of what's happening in there i guess you know they're pretty uh evenly matched so i don't know we might go see something in there i do still think that you know avon he's gonna bite the bullet i feel like somebody's gonna bite the bullet by the end of this series okay i could be wrong you never know right this is a shonen you never know shonens you know they, they tend not to kill anybody but hey who knows it doesn't matter i like all the characters i would like i would love for them to survive but if one of them does die it kind of does feel like you know it's the end of the world right they're, they're they're protecting the world at least one of them has to die right but hey that's a whole other issue and of course now we're heading into the final fight or what seems to be like the final fight but some weird tentacle kidnapped leona after you know leona and die had a beautiful moment uh there i mean I, you already know they're gonna end up together it's, it's written in stone so now what's gonna happen with this whole tentacle thing hopefully it doesn't get too weird because you know tentacles in anime tend to get really weird uh so hopefully we don't go there uh it, it didn't seem too bad i've seen worse like sword out online they'll be doing some weird stuff with tentacles uh but yeah i don't know what that monster is is i mean it's in the castle heck even king varn he was kind of surprised by it so i don't know if that's some type of monster that you know king varn can't even control and they're gonna have to deal with that but that also raises the question if they're gonna fight this monster and it's a very powerful monster they're probably gonna be worn out so i guess you know leon is gonna have to use some of her feathers to heal back up and then go fight king varn because there is just no way that they're gonna be able to fight king varn heck i don't even think they're ready for king varn at full hp full mana you know 100 as they are right now i don't think they're ready okay i think they're gonna need a miracle i don't know how they're gonna beat king varn but i'm sure it's gonna be greatness overall this episode is just a setup episode but everything that happened in here it was great especially with all the characters talking to 
each other. I can't wait to see what's about to go down. You already know it's going to go down. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode. And like always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Boom.